Okay, so, so far we've learned how to tape with skin injuries, but now I'm gonna teach you how to tape for specific injuries um, that climbers deal with. So we're gonna be doing an age tape method, and this is used to give extra support for a pulley injury. So you have two pulleys that typically get injured. You have A2 here, A2, and then A4. Okay, so whether or not you have an A2 injury or an A4 injury, you're going to tape it the same. And so what you're going to do is you're going to grab off of this side, um, the side that is not divided, okay? And you're going to grab uh, maybe, I would say, like six to eight inches. I have this piece of tape here. It was about, if I had to say, let's see, one, two, it's about six inches, okay? And again, there's not an exact science to this. Um, you're gonna learn the amount that you need based on the size of your fingers. And so normally what's done is H tape where it's exactly symmetrical. But what we're gonna do is an asymmetrical method which allows the tape to stick on your finger for longer. So. On one side, you're going to split it right down the middle, and it's going to be smaller, right? So maybe about an inch. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So you're going to tear it down the middle. But now we're going to have it tear down almost to meeting the other side there. So it should look kind of like... Uh, like a chromosome or something with two long legs and two short arms. Uh, and this is how we're gonna use, um, this is the tape that we're gonna use to give us extra support for a pull injury. And so even though you might be feeling pain at the A2 part, maybe at the A4 part, this taping method, you're gonna use uh, this piece of the tape that's not torn and you're gonna put that right over the crease or where A3 would be. And that's because what we're doing is we're trying to give extra support to these um, pulleys. And so to do that, we actually need to kind of unweight the, the stress that goes through A3. Um, and so if, how we're going to do that is you're going to wrap the small legs around first, and you want to have a little bend in your finger. They say it's supposed to be like 30 degrees. I'm not too exact. Just make sure that there's a bend in the finger when you're doing this taping job, okay? So you're gonna wrap this, the short legs around, right? And you're gonna make sure that you don't go over the knuckle because again, we need this knuckle to bend. And so you want to make sure there's that gap so that you can bend it still. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap these longer legs right around um, and then there's no weaving pattern here. So literally all you're doing is tracing the lines that you have with the tape like so. And then again, make sure that the tape ends on that back side or the knuckle side, okay? And then, so that's one leg and all you're gonna do is the same thing with that other leg. You're gonna trace around and you're just going to mimic that tape that we just put down making sure that it ends on the back side. So that's good enough for me. This is the H tape method. You can still bend your finger and that's how you would give some extra support to your pulleys.